and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Amplified and today we are somewhere a little bit different as you can see here the sun is going down in the background very very nice I really wanted it to be daytime but that's okay because the mobs are going to spawn everywhere but we're up here and this is my portal at my desert island I have been using this to collect sand oh someone has slept awesome um, and yeah I just wanted to show you guys because I don't think I've shown it in recordings I know I've been here a lot during my streams but what I also wanted to show you guys was that over there is a sea temple thing sea whatever it's called and one over there as well because I am just awesome apparently and I've got two sea temples wait what's that over there is that another one <gasps> why does that look like another one it could be it might not be another one in is it an oh no, I think it's just an island. I better get out of the water actually because I have had issues with these things coming over. But can you hear that? They make a weird noise. I can hear them from over here. No, they're, they're not going to make it now. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, guys. They're that noise. So weird. It's like a re like a crackling noise. It's very, very odd indeed. But anyway, I'm going to head back because we have a lot of projects we want to get on with today. And one of them includes all the sand I have collected. So let's get going. So first things first, we need to work on the lighthouse a little bit more. There is one little task that I haven't done just yet that I want to get done. Now, I won't be doing it on camera because redstone is definitely not my forte. Um, but what I have is a few different designs that I want to try out in the lighthouse to make this light spin only at night time. Now, there is a little bit of an issue in that I logged on today and the light is permanently on, which is a little bit worrying. I don't know if someone else turned it off, whether or not because it's a redstone clock, someone may, have, may or may not have touched it. I'm not sure, no one has messaged me. Uh, maybe it's just bugged out and, I don't know, has stopped turning. But let's have a quick look up here. I have been tweaking a little bit of the design, so that m I may have actually left it. Just not working, in fact thinking about it um but anyway let's head up here yeah so i was trying a design out actually and it obviously i didn't make it move again i guess but anyway i'm gonna work on this little project we're gonna have to dig out the ceiling as well here and we're gonna be trying a little design out to see if it works in making this only come on at night time which would be super super awesome okay so it is going around and it's just become daytime is it gonna turn off is it is it gonna turn off okay uh, Mumbo just slept. It's inverted, so it should turn off. That that's an issue. Um, well, it did. It 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 was daytime, and then it became nighttime. It turned itself on, but for some reason, it hasn't turned itself off. That is a little bit of an issue. I thought it was working. Okay, well, it looks like I'm gonna probably have to work on this a bit longer. Might be because this isn't in the right place. That could be a thing. It hasn't got anything above it, but I think that light levels affect it. Now, this is way too complicated for me to understand. Um, but, I don't know. I think we'll come back. We'll do this maybe another time. But, pretty much, um, this whole thing here. Um, I'll try and leave the link in the description. Although, actually, I was thinking about making a tutorial for the lighthouse itself. So, I think once I've done a tutorial for the lighthouse and a little bit down there, I will link all of the people because so many people send me links to different ways to do this setup here i'm not sure which one works correctly uh this one i thought worked correctly but apparently not but um anyway so i will do that in the the tutorial video but anyway what we're going to do now is go and do a couple of things now tango tech is online so that leaves that little thing to, to not happen i'm just going to leave it that as a bit of a bit of a not, not a spoiler but um you have to wait and see for that that little little thing I lie! I just, it just, it's done itself off! Yay! It works! Woo! We can now celebrate and have a party at the lighthouse because, blimey, this thing. Holy moly, that took a long while. Anyway, that is now done. This now works. Awesome source. Let's go get on with some other things. So that is enough of messing around with the lighthouse over there. I have a lot of little tiny tasks to do today. Um, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. There are a few things I want to do. One thing right now is actually I'm going to change these. Now you might be thinking these are pretty funky and cool. We've got some different colours going on. But I kind of dislike them. I like the I like I like it to kind of all match. Now they don't really match that well. We're gonna have obviously a massive hotel here. For some reason that top bit is not loading and that looks really weird. Um and yeah so we're going to change up these umbrellas now i found out that you can actually use beds 
So that's what I'm going to go do now. I'm actually going to go grab some beds and some red wool and stuff. And we're going to make these all matching as if, you know, if you go to a holiday resort, they usually have all like matching umbrellas of a certain kind or certain colour or certain style. And that's what I want. I don't want them to be all mismatched now anymore. I kind of, I don't know, I, I like them. But I don't think they fit in with the, ha the style of the hotel that I'm going to be putting there. So I'm going to grab a load of beds. We're going to make a whole ton of them out of the wall I'm going here. And we're going to see if this actually does work in Vanilla Survival properly. So here we are over at the first umbrella. This is one that we are going to be changing up to the beds. And this is what I'm going to show you guys how to do so you guys can make these yourself. Now I'm just going to get rid of all the stuff. I wish I'd bought a... Um, some shears with me that would have been very helpful indeed we do have iron blocks but i won't be touching those right now but what we should be able to do right now is if we get rid of these iron blocks and we put these blocks down here you should then be able to get a bed and chuck one there if you keep going around the same way you should be able to keep chucking them down now i'm just hoping that when we get rid of the nether act below it shouldn't get rid of um the beds the bed should stay floating there fingers crossed they are they, they seem to be they seem to be floating wow look at that super awesome the only thing i do need to change now is that top little block there we are going to probably change it for a redstone block because i don't seem to have any red wool also what i'm going to be doing is changing this to oak because obviously the underside of a bed is the lighter oak color rather than the spruce wood so that's what we're going to be changing as well you can also see the redstone block both on top and on the bottom which i quite like it does look pretty cool and fancy and they're going to look really really awesome from over there when you can see the top of them. So that's what I'm going to do for these last few things here. We're also going to probably change um, these pink carpets which are meant to be the towels to pink because why on earth not? So it all matches and looks fancy and we'll carry on and do that with the other umbrellas. So another task we have to do today, I finish up those umbrellas, they look pretty cool over here. I'm going to tweak them a little bit more, tweak where they are at, especially as I need to add some more things over this side. So we need to leave as much beach over this side as possible because we need room for the hotel entrance which is going to go around there. I think we might have a lifeguard tower or something else on there as well but we'll do that in the future. But what I need to do now is actually move these guys because I really want to work in this area here but... Having this many horses in this area, just, just chilling inside this dirt wall, is not very good for the horses. And also, it's not very good for me because I can't actually build anything here until they are moved. So we need a big space for these guys to sit and, you know, they, they, we need some stables pretty much. So what I have decided to do is build some stables in this area here. Now, uh, behind there, there is a little bit more room than you can see. So we're probably going to dig this out a little bit and put the stables just underneath this bit of rock here. And I think that'll be cool. So I'm going to get rid of all these potatoes here because we don't need these here, at least for the moment anyway. We shouldn't starve. Um, well, we might stop actually thinking about it because I have only got 62 baked potatoes to my name and uh, this many potatoes and also I've only got like probably nine steak in there and potatoes don't last very long so uh, we are going to have to maybe make some kind of food thing in the near future if you have any ideas of what what the best food kind of farm automatic farm there is to make um, not chickens I don't think because they are a bit laggy so if you have any other ideas um, to do with a food farm that would be really really helpful to leave me a comment or a link below um, with what I should make. But anyway, I'm going to get ready to uh, dig all this out. We need to dig a whole bunch of this room out. And you can see, yeah, it does go right back over here. So we have a nice amount of space there to build some stables. And we're going to make them look as awesome as possible. And also see if we can get as many of these horses in there as we uh, as possible. Because there are quite quite a few.
So here we have it, here are the stables so far, and I know what you're thinking, these are pretty simple. We have six separate pens, and we also have this area in here, which I keep running out of dirt. Dirt is one thing I don't have an awful lot of anymore. I used to have a whole bunch of it, I don't know where on earth I put it, but I I think I must have used it just here and there, and it suddenly ran out. So that is something I guess I'm going to have to collect at some point, maybe I'll do a task at some point where we actually use like get rid of a whole bunch of dirt or something but anyway i need to finish this bit off here obviously and then fill that in this area will be for just loads and loads of horses all those spare ones that maybe i don't want to keep or you know i'm giving to other people so that's what will be in here and these ones will be my my personal horses that i can use for riding around and getting to and from different islands i guess um in the future um i may have to install some kind of horse path i could in fact actually do that somehow under the water maybe have like a tunnel uh, it's quite deep over there so that could be kind of cool you could see it um and it could be a good way of getting over there rather than swimming every time or i don't know things like that so let me know where you think i could put an entrance to maybe a tunnel like that I'm not exactly sure where I could build like a if i flatten it out just a little bit on this level i could have a little i guess a well thing that you drop down or or a lift and you go down to under the water level and you get over there that could be kind of cool but again i may need to actually have built the hotel first because i could in fact just attach it straight to the hotel and that could be a really really easy way of getting over there but anyway enough about that we are here about the stables now we do keep getting these little blocks here that just won't disappear they just they just like going crazy um but anyway what i'm gonna do is I'm thinking I need to add something in these areas here. They, they're just too boring for me, you know? Just having just grey walls is not enough. I am thinking, hmm. One was water. Again, I know I use water a lot. Could just use water in the middle one and then either side could be something a bit different. Uh, but then again, I would quite like to add water along the front here. So I'm not 100% sure. I guess we will, we'll, we'll try some things out and yeah. Or we could put maybe like a fake um, hill? I don't know. It's a very, very small space indeed. Maybe I'll try a few things out in creative first uh, in single player or something like that. But I really want something decorative to be in these areas here because otherwise it just looks a little bit boring. So I have been busy, but the time lapses aren't quite coming out as best as, as I, I guess they could do. Um, this is a really, really tight space to be working in right now, and it does make everything a little bit more awkward. So you're going to have to bear with me a little bit with things like that. But anyway, this is what we have going right now. We have these areas which are going to look like that. The fence posts are going to go along like this. And the reason why I thought, well, firstly, I thought, you know, I'd put water up here. And then I thought, you know what? These horses are going to need a drink of water somehow, and I thought, you know, we could use uh, cauldrons or something, you know, put them in the corner and they can drink from that and have a hay bale on the other side, but it's a little bit boring, not too much design related really with that that you can do. Uh, so I thought, you know what, we'll continue this water, it'll drip down all the way over here, you'll, you, you'll have seen that I made a bit of a mess with a lot of the water. It still seems quite dark in here, even though we've added lanterns where we can. Uh, we've added them underneath here as well, but the, the water seems to drown it out. But 
Uh, these areas aren't finished yet. I think I'm going to add a little bit more detail here. I think I'm going to add some stone bricks and maybe those different ones that are like in a circle kind of shape. And then on the side here, maybe have leaves separating each of the sections. But anyway, I'm going to pretty much go ahead and finish this, at least on this side. On this side, it's a little bit weird because I can't obviously do the same thing over here, I guess. I suppose I could have them dripping down and maybe just not have a wall behind. I guess I will try some things out with that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to finish the thing up and take a look at what it looks like. So guys, here we are. We have done the stables. Now, that, there are a few tweaks I need to do, but I don't really want to spend time in an episode doing them, which is obviously tidying up this. We don't really want these on show, although we could actually have them on show. It would light up this area here. We need to use a whole lot more dirt to fill this in and make it look natural. But this is what it looks like on this side. Really, really happy with how it looks. It's pretty much the same as that side, but with just some mid blocks missing. So, you know, we've got the the leaf blocks here like they are on that side but obviously only one of them and here we are we've also loaded up the horses so we've got all six of my horses that I've tamed here we've also got exactly the right amount of iron armor for the horses which is amazing I got them I don't know whether or not I got a couple from a nether fortress I know I got a couple of chests from there and also I found a zombie spawner which is over there somewhere and there's also another spawner which is like a spider one which is I think over by the desert or something um, only the zombie one is close enough to use so maybe I'll set that up one day we never know uh, but the other horses are still all in there they're all non-tamed horses so I'm gonna bring them over here with a lead again which will take a while also want to tidy this area up, but that is pretty much it guys, this is it, this is all the detail I've gone to for this project, I really like it, I love putting detail into things, you you, you guys must think I'm crazy, this is just, just to hold the horses, I probably won't even use the horses very often, but I've made them a pretty fancy, funky stable, which I'm really happy with then, and I really like the water, I think it's a really nice touch. Now, the only thing I am worried about the horses is that they might die, again, I do have quite a lot of horses, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, although I don't really want to lose these ones because I picked these ones out specially. Are these two the same? No, they're not actually, they're different, which is, it's really nice, because these, these two grey ones are very, very similar, but this one's got like white socks on, which is quite nice, I, I really like these. But these are the, four, the six I picked out, which I really, really like. Um, a couple are a bit slow or unable to jump, I know this one struggles jumping, even though it's a very, very lovely little horse with a blonde mane, which is quite nice. But anyway, that is it, guys, that is all I've done there. I may put something up there, I feel like I need to put... A symbol. Now, I did think about putting some kind of horse statue somewhere, but it's uh, you, you can't build one small. You know, they have to be a certain size, and I I feel like it's going to take up too much space. But um, we could build up there. No, that would look a bit ridiculous. But I need something up there. So if anyone's got any designs or ideas of what I can put up here, I can flatten that out a little bit and put like a symbol or something up there. So if you've got any ideas, feel free to let me know. Again, uh, I love you guys. Uh, you, you come up with great ideas and it always helps me out so if you have one let me know that would be awesome and I also want to know what you guys think of this so please do that leave a like if you have enjoyed this episode and subscribe if you haven't already and that is it guys thank you for watching you've been awesome I've been false and there we are I'll catch you guys next time see ya